Hi, this is a guide to how to use Plastic CM in Unity. So Plastic CM is a version control that is built in for Unity. So what is a version control? Let's say you are working on a project, you usually save your file as like, for example, here is my version 1, and then you add some changes, and then you make another one, like version 2, you make like a backup system and then like another one, like final version of your project. You have sort of this manual backup system. But instead of doing this manually, we can use something called version control. In case of Unity, usually in programming, you use GitHub or Git, but Unity has its own built-in sort of GitHub or Git version, which is called Plastic SCM. Now, previously, Unity has used to have something called Unity Collaborate, but Unity Collaborate doesn't has been replaced by the new Plastic SCM. So this is a guide to show you how you can use it. So once here, I have a simple project open. And if I want to, right now, there is no version control applied to this project. And I want to add Plastic SCM to it. So first thing I want to do is that and I want to come here, you see there is an icon called Plastic SCM. I want to click on it. Now, I'm already logged in, so make sure you are all logged in in your Unity account here. And then you want to click on Create a Workspace. So what this is going to do is going to create a repository for our project. And you can think of repository as sort of the cloud space that this project is going to get saved online and then we can give it a name these are fine and there is a section on how do you prefer to work so i need branching merge and ability to push pull i'll let you check in my work now you do want to click on the first one because it gives you more option so let's click on create workspace so it has created war my workspace you see that it's it, I, it, it shows me all of the file that I have in my project because I'm just adding this project right now. It's showing everything. So I'm going to click everything. And now you need to write a commit. And try to write your commit sensible. So don't just write something random. So for instance, in this case, I am added my project file. So project file. I'm going to click on check in changes. So it's going to add our changes to our repository. So they're getting uploaded. And it's finished. So now you can actually view sort of your commit history. So if you go to, to the here, changes, change set section, here I can see that. So I created the repository. These are the first two. And here I added my project file. I can see my comment project file and here is all the changes and you can have uh, different branches as well I'm gonna come back to that so if I go let's go to the project so for instance I make it like a new script you can just leave it new behavior and if I go to my plastic you, see, you, you can see it automatically detected my changes and this is also a great tool when you're doing collaboration and really that's where this tool shines because it allows people to easily work together so for instance here's the changes i made and uh, so let's actually let me let's delete this Let's make a new one. Let's call this uh, enemy AI. So this is going to represent our enemy AI. And I can come to my plastic and I can say, okay, what's this commit is about? It's going to be enemy AI. And usually you don't want to, you want, you don't want to commit multiple unrelated changes. So if you worked on enemy, you can sort of package them together and say, okay, I've worked on enemy and make a comment as enemy AI. So you don't want to really have a large comment with a lot of changes because it's hard to track what actually have you done. 
so you click on check-in so if I go here I can see an MEAR and you can always go back to the previous version so if I come here, let's say, for example, this enemy AI broke my project. I want to go back to the previous version. I want to back to the original version. I come here and I click on switch workspace to this change step. Right click. Switch. And if I go, you see that the script is gone. If I go back, you can even get rid of this. Now it's saying that because I read, I, I still have the. If I click here, it says a new change set is available. That's the one with the script, but I don't want to have it. So if I don't want to up, uh, up the update it to that version, I can just come here, click on. So that also shows you, okay, what's the difference. So if you want to check, if you click on diff, it's going to show you, okay, what has changed in that commit, which is showing me, but I don't, uh, I want to, to keep it this version, so I don't want to have an, the enemy AI. So when it says this change set is available, I'm not going to update my workspace for now. I can just leave it as this. And you have these branches. So usually you have a, like a main branch, which is your production ready code. And you want to create, you can create child branches for this. So for example, if you're testing your features, you want to create a new branch. So for example, testing, shooting. And you create it. So you can test it out that test things on that branch. And then you can merge these two branch together. And that's what's useful about the branches. So you can separate them and you can merge them. So you can switch. Usually for a small project, you can just work on the main branch. You don't need multiple branches. Uh, and you can also, if we just let it load, you can also invite team member to the Plastic STM. So if you click on this wheel icon here, and it says uh, invite member to the organization. So it's going to open it. And uh, you can add a new user here. So you can just type their email, give them administration access, and they get a notification email. So that user is gonna need to download the Plastic SCM application as well. So they would sign into their account. You go to the Plastic SCM app and they can download their project from the app. And then once you've done this, you don't really need to do, you don't really need to do the app, use the app anymore. And uh, you can use, uh, you can do everything through the Unity interface, which is good. Like the app has more option, but you have all of the basic inside Unity. So most majority of the things you need, they are in Unity, so you don't really need to use the app unless somebody invites you to their project. So you just need to use the app to download it and then you can do the rest in Unity. Uh, and yeah, that's a simple tutorial on how to use the Plastic STM. Uh, hope you find it useful.